get ready for something amazing. Well, maybe not, but mildly entertaining. Yeah, to use a little spit on it. This is an operation probably best done without gloves on. I don't think that's an eagle button. Did it taste good? Sorry you folks had to watch that. Did you lick it? No. Lick it. Oh. It's about like you're going to catch leukemia again. Yeah, that's true. Just lick it. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. See any icebergs? Don't ever let go, Rose. Don't <laughs> ever let go. <laughs> Yeah, it is. All right. So Scott's uh, got his jackhammer out to show. How's that go again, Scott? It's about how it is digging right here. All right. So Scott, we're going to live dig this. Scott's got a good high tone signal. We've been digging a lot of collar disc. Could also be a coin, though. Oh, it's a collar disc. I see it. You already see it. That's right easy. There. Yep. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see it. Yeah. Still intact. yeah, you're right. All right. Ready for the reveal? Yep. Kentucky or Iowa? I don't know. Let's see. Probably won't be able to tell. Kentucky. Kentucky. Womp, womp, womp. I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. That's awesome. So, what 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 do you do you for? You got athletes, yeah, athletes foot. Get a woman to pee on. <laughs> I'm serious. Pee on your feet. I ain't, it ain't, it's, it, it's no joke. No joke. I'm saying no joke. <laughs> Or you no could job. just use. I'm looking this up on the internet. And it says on. getting a woman to pee on your foot to cure athlete's foot is the oldest trick in the book for foot fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> he made that up. <laughs> Barry's trying to research how to kill some sort of mites right now that he thinks he may have yeah. contracted in the woods. I can pee on you. Help me too, Barry. <laughs> Oh, it God, might not work. Be... It might not work, but it sure made me feel good. <laughs> I, I vote for the red cayenne pepper bath for your scrotum. <laughs> I told you I'd apply that OC foam I'm out there. Put them in a bag. It ain't going in the water. Hey, look. You know what you can do? Put them in a bag, get a hammer, and, and hit them scabies. Yeah, you won't care. <laughs> Lord have mercy. If you, I'm telling you, Barry, if that cayenne pepper would work, yeah. that OC spray. It'll work right. ten times as fast. I'm almost tempted to try it. Just need to try it in a very enclosed space. <laughs> very, <laughs> very, very. Listen, I'm an expert. I am an expert at applying OC spray. I have applied it to many people, and it has brought religion to many people. <laughs> I can tell you, it will work. <laughs> what well, yeah, pro Yes. All right, this is getting out of hand. We could well, you tase him right where they Have are. you got one of those handheld tasers? Handheld tasers? Yeah. I'm talking like a cop to you. <laughs> what have I got a <laughs> well, Hey, I, can make I may have I to. I've got a bare wireless. You know, one of them things? You know, or a a table table. I'll call. Hey, I can call table. some of my buddies down <laughs> here. Oh, my God. You, I mean, if you're if you're willing, taser. we can try it. It'd electrocute them, wouldn't it? It would at 50,000 volts. I don't. And we could get it all on video. To the scrotum. Could, <laughs> could we? <laughs> could we videotape it for the? You got my permission, yeah. Hey, just for medical, you know. This is research purposes. Research. Home remedies. <laughs> Curing Barry's mites. It's midnight and bedtime. That might work. You go up there. Are y'all cut up from today? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Look. I ain't right. even taking a shower yet. I've got blood dried on my arm. How's that look? Felt like we took a day in the woods. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. It's like being back in Nam. You know what you ought to do? You ought to post that and say, you this is that snake bit me. <laughs> While well, I was, well, was handling it and talking in tongues. Man, that's a good one. I step with him. No, he's not from Scottsboro. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's that's from my buddy Jimmy Jones up there in Jackson <laughs> County. See, that's the reason I didn't want to kill the snake. I told I told Mark about it. Probably could get two hundred bucks for that thing that snake handling. That's what he said. In Scottsboro. That's what he said. He said I'm gonna put it in a sack and handle it. Jackson <laughs> County, Alabama. You take that snake and some straight nine up there, and 
<laughs> That's gas money. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to any of my customers in Jackson County. <laughs> Patrick snake, Stewart. That snake hissed at me and opened his mouth and never tried to bite me. I, I was close to it; could have bit me. Oh yeah. You should try to pet it. You well, it's because it, it's because it. it's it's you had it's because you had religion. Yeah, that's that's what it was. You could have picked it up and handled it, probably. I, you know what? I poked him with a shovel. I poked him with a machine. He never did. He never did strike at anything. Yeah, because that's freaking. You're not going to bite it no day. That's where you want to be. Well, on back, this is going to be a little difficult to swing. We're here in South Africa. Yeah, it is about like South Africa. Looking out for a water bubble. I'm waiting for a line to just jump out of this stuff. I think this is going to be difficult to swing. Let's go back towards the wood line. See, it, it, I think it thins down a little bit. All right, you leave this time. Me lean? Uh-huh. Through there? Through there. Okay. All right, we'll go. All right, Scott's locking it in. You ready? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we may not have found much metal detector. We found mud holes over to get the good part. Oh, shit. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Just leave them alone. <laughs> we are regrouping, heading to another spot. Not the only person that's found anything is. We'll be back in a little bit. Scott Duncan. I found one. I found a couple. Oh, that yeah, Mark I found, found a couple. couple. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Justin. Oh, that was how many you found? That's how many I found. Big egg. Freak. Hey, man. The guy's a bullet freak. I found six. Well, he's a freak. <laughs> I found we a bunch. All right. Yeah, he's lost his. So we're trying to decide. See that? Yeah. Barry, are you digging a bullet or are you acting as Bader Gate? We're on the edge of the swamp. I'd say that's a bullet. That's a bullet. I, I mean, I heard it on your, on your machine. Of course, you never know, man. When you get over here where we are, you want to dig all the signals anyway, and this is a good chance for me to take a break. I prop, I prop my machine up the hill there. We were hunting on the edge of those rifle pits. Found a few bullets, a few frags, stuff like that. We so, will Barry get the bullet before the gator gets Barry? That's the question. How many of you seen that? I have Barry? to admit, this is the most uh, ingenious uh, trailer <laughs> I've seen. Check. <laughs> Brother Jeff Lubert and Butch Holcomb. Glad to have you guys with us today. Happy fun. You know what holds these chairs on? What's that? This. That's right. That's right. Gravity. A lot of gravity. <laughs> What'd you find me, Scott? A candy bar. For me and Butch? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, get munchy on What if I want my own? Well, here. Butch. Have they got two of those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to share. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we all gonna get one? Is this just for today, yeah, or do we need one tomorrow too? Yeah. There we I go. Polish this off in a few minutes. We're ready. We're gonna be energized by the well, time we get there to dig. I got, a, I got meat That's, in the Slim Jim. Hey, from, you got all you got all the major uh, food, groups. food groups covered. Yes. yes, we do. We're ready. We're making it. <laughs> all right. So here we are. Scott Duncan in the house. Stealth digger shirt. That's matching, man. Kind of matching. You sort of I know, that's what GQ I was type going stuff. For. Yeah, I yeah. like this. I hear you. All right. My brother, Jeff Gibbs, in the house. We're out hunting with the Equinoxes today. And oh, yeah, baby. It's uh, It was down there, too, about nine inches. Uh, sword hanger. Uh, Jeff, can you reach in there and grab it? Sword hanger. Yes, sir. 
Nice. That Equinox slammed it. Dude. Did it slammed it? Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you right now. I had my Deus out. Yeah. Because my arm was a little tired, so I was switching detectors to get a little bit different angle and then rest your arm a little bit. It did sound like a garbage target to me. I know. It sounded like a garbage target. So I mean, because he that, that multi frequency slammed well, because, it, yeah, dude. Yeah, because you 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 called me over and said check this for me, and so I checked it. And I said I don't know, it's kind of jumping around a little bit, and yeah, you dug it anyway, and there you go. Man, whoo! <laughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, can't it doesn't look like a, a leech and rigged or anything. It doesn't have the scales that I can tell, but uh, nice, nice, nice. Like I say, it was nine nine or so inches, eight nine inches down, uh, bottom of that hole. Jeff's hunting with his Equinox. I got mine. Scott's got his over there somewhere. Uh, yeah, if you just joined us, sword hanger in the pock. All right.